Let's do some cork free sunny gym. Hello folks, just Steep it here and today we're going to be going over the cork 3 technique in Steep. So the first thing I want to address about the cork 3 in Steeps is that they are different to the ones you see in real life. Ultimately, the issue with this is Steep has predetermined rotations and flips programmed into the game. This means you'll never have complete control or freedom of choosing your rotation and axes. However, as a community, we are always finding methods and pushing the boundaries of techniques which allow us to do things the game never intended. And that's where the cork 3 comes into play. So typically in skiing, one of the most common methods of doing a cork 3 is simply carving into the kicker, tucking early, and that will throw you into that off-axis hook. Unfortunately in steep, carving into a kicker does not affect the way you spin or flip. So this clip we're looking at here is what I would typically call a cork 3 in steep. And we're going to replay this clip again and call out the main difference, which is right about here. So rewinding to what I said about carving not affecting the rotation, it means the spin into the cork in steep is quite late and the character and skis are going to be facing across the mountain rather than down the mountain. Typically, people can call this somewhat flat spin or even rodeo if feet go to inverted. But since steep rotations behave differently to real life tricks, I honestly don't think we can truly apply the same critique when making comparisons. Do this you're first going to have to be comfortable in doing single corks if you don't know how to do the flick technique i suggest having a look at Stop. steep steep single cork video Stop. and start practicing a quick breakdown of doing a single cork is simply jump pause a second and then flick the harder you flick the more rotations you complete the biggest problem people have is that they don't actually flick the stick with force it needs to be short and snappy with force behind it once you're happy with doing single corks, doing a cork 3 is actually relatively straightforward. You apply the same technique, but instead of flicking in a conventional diagonal direction, you're going to adjust that flick so that's closer to a downward direction. The best way to visualize this is to flick to either side of the 6 o'clock position on a clock. I won't lie, this will take some time practicing and getting used to. There is a sweet spot that tricks the game into thinking you want to spin, but also acknowledges that you're close to the backflip animation. It sends you into this bizarre and unique cork style rotation. So some things to note that I've come across whilst doing this technique. The first one being sometimes this method does over rotate into a 450 or a 540. In the hand cam I just showed you, you can see me shift it back to the right to correct it back. There's no issues with this, you just need to catch it early so it doesn't look too bad. So the second point is this technique also does work flicking upwards on either side of the 12 o'clock position. This sends you into a forward rotation and this is what uh, people would call bios or misties if it becomes more flip like. Another thing I want to suggest is to carefully consider what grabs you apply to this technique. Some grabs do affect your character's body shape and position whilst in the air. Sometimes these grabs make it look very flat spin such as the bow and arrow grab. And finally, I've noticed that you may have to adjust the timing of your flick depending on the kicker. So in this X Games Big Air Kicker, I tend to flick a little bit early, whilst in the Japan map on the same style size kickers, I tend to flick later. So it's just going to be a case of having a mess around and seeing what best works for you. So folks, just to wrap it up nice and neatly, all you need to do is the flick technique, but adjust the angle of the flick so it's closer to a vertical direction. 
With a bit of practice, you'll be doing some steep style cork threes in no time. Also, I think it's real cringe saying this, but clicking like so that this video gets more visibility would be greatly appreciated. This has become one of the most sought after tricks in steep, and players have been after a technique for ages, to the point it's become a bit of a meme. So thanks folks, and I'll catch you later.